Hi everyone and welcome. So I just thought I would record a quick little sit down chat just to recap on what we've done so far and what is to come. I know that many of you today have actually finished the 10 week EPIC program. So honestly, massive congratulations. This takes a lot of dedication, perseverance, determination, sheer hard work. The highlight for me of this entire EPIC program has actually been you guys, all of the comments, the funny stories, listening to your highs and your lows. It has been so rewarding and I am honored that you have all joined me for this. And to those who have yet to finish it, maybe you're just about to begin or you're halfway through or you just have that R hit to go. I hope you all smash every single workout that you've yet to do. Remember to have lots of fun with it. There is no pressure, it is you versus you. And always strive for progress, not perfection. There are lots of things I can't do, but I try, I try my best. And if I don't do it perfectly, that is completely fine. I just get up and try again. The sense of community that we've had during this entire EPIC program and also previous as well, however heightened definitely with the EPIC program, it has been unbelievable. Every single day I enjoy reading all of your comments, how you actually reply to one another, cheer each other on, provide support and motivation and also help with guidance and actually answering people's queries and questions as well. So thank you every single one of you who have helped one another out. In regards to progress, I know that many of you have had different goals, different aspirations, different things that you want to aim for and accomplish. And it has been wonderful to read such progression in the comments below, also in the Facebook community and also on Instagram. This program is not geared towards a two week weight loss where you lose several pounds. This is to try and get you to really enjoy fitness as a whole and for it to become a way of life so that over time you progress in so many ways that you may be amazed at. Due to many of you requesting, there are epic t-shirts and hoodies all available in the store section of YouTube. Also, I will link it below. There are hoodies and t-shirts and vests. However, on the back, just check there's two different variations on the back of different exercises with a tick list that we have smashed through this program and wear that epic badge with pride. I know during this period, it has been particularly difficult to get your hands on some dumbbells. And I know that a lot of you have been trying to purchase your first pair of dumbbells. Also, there has been many people trying to get heavier weights, obviously, as you progress in the EPIC program. And it is definitely about progressive overload, ideally over time. If, however, you only have access to lighter weights than you would prefer, I would always stress to just go at your own pace. The last 10 seconds of an exercise should definitely be challenging, so you may want to pay extra attention to the range of motion, also performing at a slightly faster pace, so you get those little bit more reps in. In regards to progress, of course, nutrition is a massive part. It depends, of course, on your goals, whether it is fat loss, whether it is muscle gaining, etc. And I know many of you have been trying to increase your protein through the day, which is great. Active rest days are definitely important as are actual activity levels throughout the day even if you are doing a specific workout i.e daily steps typically i would reach about 15,000 steps in a day and that is nearly every single day i would do that however i don't aim to do that it's basically from walking the dog and just being active through the day however if day to day it did involve me sitting a lot i would definitely ensure that maybe on my lunch break or maybe after work or first thing in the morning, I would certainly go for a walk. Just to increase those daily steps, it all adds up. There has definitely been a few highlights of the EPIC program, and I know you still all agree, day seven was definitely an introduction to a lot of repetition. However, once you get past day seven, I think you're gonna definitely finish the program. Day seven is a mentally and physically challenging workout. Once you do it, the rest is in the bag. And I know a lot of you have actually changed your mind in regards to repetitions, whereas once you maybe held back and avoided those sort of workouts, but I think now many of you are actually embracing those repetitions. There has been many highs, particularly when you finish a workout. So yeah, the feeling after a really hard, solid workout, particularly a leg day, is so rewarding. There has, of course, been lows. There have been moments where I've had to look at the camera and really pull myself together. Keep going, Caroline. You can do this. The 20 minute dumbbell complex with the two dumbbells was pretty draining, I have to say, but you know what? We did it. There have been some very funny stories as well and comments which honestly have just made this such an enjoyable experience. Your sense of humor, your quotes, they are pretty epic. 
and just overall everybody's positivity even through the hard times you come out the other end positive you really push yourselves but there have been a few stories that have been really touching and it just shows people's determination to actually join in people have made dumbbells from concrete and of course there's been a few people who have been putting ankle weights on their wrists along with their lighter dumbbells just to increase the weight so yeah, it's been remarkable to see all these stories of sheer determination and really nothing will hold them back. It's very motivating and inspiring for me. So what next? Obviously, Epic is over. However, it will stay online for you to either repeat or as, as I know many of you are maybe midway through, etc., or thinking about beginning it, it will be always on YouTube for you to access the full 50 workouts. For December, I plan to really work on my creativity, bring that out. I'm going to be involving shorter workouts about six days a week, and it will involve a whole range of different workouts. Body weight, it could involve kettlebells, it could involve dumbbells. Also a few little surprises and challenges in there as well. So I plan to do one ab or core workout as well a week. So specifically targeting either the core and abs because we all love those. Also I plan on some tutorials as well. So December can often be a very busy month. I hope you all have a super December. Anybody out there is writing a Christmas list to Santa. A few little things that you may want to consider is obviously maybe more dumbbells. As I've said before, they do last a lifetime and they're always really good to have different options. These are just some of the little bits of equipment that I think you might like, particularly if you've just done Epic program. A pull-up bar is a great one. It is a really solid way to work your back at home. Also, you can practice. It doesn't mean you have to be able to do a pull-up. It is fun actually practicing, holding at the top, slow eccentric movements. I do plan on doing a pull-up bar workout at some point soon. Push-up bars are a fantastic option. I actually love doing push-ups on push-up bars. It is, for me, a little bit easier on my wrists because I'm more in line than actually at an angle when I'm doing my push-ups. So you're more in that position here. Also, there's so much variety with different push-ups that you can do. Of course, then that extra depth as well. Similar to what we've been doing on yoga blocks where we have one hand on a block and one hand on the floor, you can actually get that little bit deeper. Another option is, of course, an ab wheel. Ab wheels are absolutely fantastic. One of my favorites for the abs, core, also the lats. And of course, more dumbbells. Dumbbells are always handy to have, as well as the proximate six workouts that I'll be sharing throughout the week. Every Sunday evening, I will provide a community post with a suggested breakdown of training for the week ahead comprising of the EPIC program. So basically the 10 weeks of EPIC program I will condense into the four weeks for December. So week one will be a variety, five days, five workouts from the EPIC program. And then the next week, of course, another community post for that week. I will ensure that you get your lower body done, your upper body, full body, and some high intensity as well. These would be fantastic to be complemented with some of the workouts that I actually upload through that week as well. So you, for example, you may do the EPIC hit. There may be also a new ab workout that has been uploaded that you could do after that. Alternatively, it could be a leg day of EPIC followed by a new cardio workout. So yeah, there'll be lots of fun in December. So yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me, all of your continued support. I hope that you continue to train really hard in December. There is lots of variety coming this month, lots of fun to be had, lots of challenges. Keep it up, use all rock. Also, let me know in the comments below if there is anything in particular that you would like for me to do this December. And of course then, if you see a comment that maybe you agree with, give it a like so that I can see which is the most liked comments and I will definitely take it on board for this month. And before me and Winston go, I'm just gonna leave you with a little clip. It'll follow on from here. So yeah guys, I hope you really have an awesome December coming up. Well done to everybody, you all rock. I am so proud of you and I am so honored that you actually join me and I'll see you soon in your next workout. Bye.